Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode of the No Money Spent team, we are going to rip through a ton of packs that we got from playing Rivals and just some of the other silver sets that we've done. We also got Stamco's X Factor, so we're going to talk about that and almost enough coins to finish them off. And we'll talk about the cards that I'm going to focus on uh, as I go forward a little bit more. So if you guys enjoyed the series, make sure you subscribe, check out the other episodes. All right, let's get into the No Money Spent squad. And here we are. We've got all these packs that we're ready to uh, we're ready to rip. And uh, I've, I've talked about this before. The silver exchange set. Uh, the silver's really, there's no point in selling them. They're only going for like 300k. Or sorry, 3k. If they were 300k, definitely sell them. Uh, they're going for 300 coins each. Uh, so I would try and do that to get the two gold player reroll. Uh, it is worth it if you are no money spent. Uh, in terms of doing the, uh, the uh, non -N if you have non-NHLers, 74 to 79 non-NHLers, I would throw those into the, uh, the gold trade-in set, the other exchange. Uh, I would not put in the 80 to 81s i wouldn't do that one i wouldn't do that full one but here we go we've got some rewards from completing a lot of rivals games uh we're gonna finish those off today but here we go let's see if we can pull anything all right dennis endress that is uh that's not gonna be it okay and then we've got all right so two uh two golds those are gonna be used right in a set again uh we'll open up the two gold players back we'll save the other one for uh for the end man maybe a dramatic finish if we pull something cool lane peterson x shark and Tanner Caspic. Nope, not going to make the team. So that's another two goals to trade. We are going to uh, see... Not, we're, these players probably aren't going to make the team. Unless it's a goalie. Maybe, potentially. Ryan Ellis. Oh, we actually need a defenseman. That's kind of huge. Uh, I think we're going to take Ryan Ellis. Yes, we are going to take Ryan Ellis. Because we do... Uh, defense is kind of a mess right now. Uh, we, I think we're going to take a master set player for our 88. Either Latang or, or Byram. Haven't figured that one out yet. But we're going to throw that one in there. Ryan Ellis will probably make the team. All right, we got a player's pack. And then we've got the two other slightly big ones. So here we go. Can we get anything cool? A purple pull would be huge. I think the only... I don't know if we've pulled a purple card yet on No Money Spent. We pulled the 85 Kucherov. Oh, Niagara Ice Dog, Jacob LeBlanc. Let's go. Premium two gold player pack. Here we go. 180 and above. Here's Connor McDavid. William Nylander. Okay. He's probably going to make the team. And I jacked up my pet. No, there we go. All right, so William Melander might actually play. And then our last one before we get into the games. Mason Shaw. And Patrick Hornfist. So he does have buzzing. I have a bunch of cards of buzzing, but he's not going to make the team. So let's go see if we can add those guys to the lineup. Uh, and see uh, where we're at right now. We'll give kind of an overview of the no money spent team. So it is a day before the reset. I've been grinding rivals games to try and get them finished. And the fourth line has... I need Thief on. And I need Fly the Zone on. So I don't think we can put Nylander in. We do... Oh, dude, and Alexander Carrier has... This is going to be tough. Yannick Burren has been awesome. This card has low-key been really good. And I don't know why. Matt Grizzly has been awesome, by the way. I could get you, you know, we're going to... No, he's earned his spot. He's earned his spot. You know what? He's, he's earned his place here. So here's the situation. I have played a bunch of games with Steven Stamko. So I tried him on the wing. Didn't work. All rivals. All in rivals, okay? So far, he has 27 games played, and he's got one goal and four assists. I cannot get this card going. I've had multiple wide open opportunities. His shot is not hitting. I don't even know if I've gotten his one tee off once. I don't know what it is. On the God Squad, his full 85 overall card is like one of my favorite to use. So I've got 36,000 coins. I can buy his base card basically, I think, and be able to get him to 85. But part of me is like, I want to move on because this card is, why am I going to put more coins into a card that's just not working? However, he does get quite a bit better from from 89 from the 83 to 85 so i think because of the investment we don't have a lot of other good options 40k is a lot like i could get dylan larkin i could probably get base dylan larkin for that price so i don't know we'll see if there's any we'll see if there is any steven stamkos is up and what they're going for 39 yeah they're all going for just under so i still actually need some more coins so it really doesn't matter yet I, it's still the play probably it is still probably the play to do that um so that's what we're gonna do uh in terms of the objectives guys the uh the hut spotlight objectives i talked about it when they came out this is a great addition to the game 
uh, by just playing the game you're getting two free 88 overall pulls which is awesome um, so just by going through these you're gonna get a lot of coins and then obviously you get that 88 overall my defense is really rough I don't have anyone good I've been using budget cards uh, so it's either going to be Latang or Byram. I'm going to have to make that decision uh, when we get it. And then this power-up thing by playing with cards in your lineup. Um, I'm almost at 75, which will get another four hut spotlight collectibles, which will allow me to take my uh, Jared McCann to an 86 overall. And by the end of that, he'll be an 88. So we are going to go ahead with that. Squad battles, we're going to finish off tomorrow because we're, we've got an extra day to do that. And then in Rivals, currently I'm in Division 3, I think. And I'm in Diamond trying to get to Ultimate so that we can get those Ultimate packs. We're going to take untradeable rewards, and I'll obviously I'll have the video come out uh, when we open all of those packs. Wednesday at 5 p.m., that's when you get your packs. So, that being said, let's hop into a game and uh, see if we can get some wins here. As I've been on a little bit of a losing streak. Been kind of, uh, you know, been kind of uh, just floundering a little bit. Not being able to score consistently. Giving up a lot of bad goals. So, uh, we'll try and lock it down here and get, our, some, get ourselves some wins here. All right, let's go. All right, this guy's 16 and 9 and 2. So similar records. I'm 21, 14, and 4. Let's see if we can get some wins here. Let's see if we can get this one. This pool in card is just the straight line meta. And he's got McDavid. All right, Samco, show me something. Oh, like, dude, like. That's one T. I mean, I don't know if it got activated because that was a weak shot, but still, man, the goalie's on his on his stomach. Oh my lord, bro. There's that Shifley, man. Stamkos, okay. Nope. So I'm telling you, man, there's something about this Stamkos. I just can't get anything. There's Mantha, huge hit. Somebody hit somebody. All right, first period's in the books. Here we get going, Kucherov. Get going. Couldn't throw it up. Oh, I just need to get that in front. He's going to go straight up through the middle there. And here's Poulin. And again, that speed. Just force it in the middle. There's a the goal. Can't hold the po check there. Guy there. Can't, get, can't intercept that pass. It has been a struggle the last couple games. It's like, how can you just... I've never had anything... Random... Oh my goodness, Barry! All right, we're down by one. This is what I've been struggling with recently. Oh my god, what a bad route! It's gonna go back to him. Yep. And fight for this. Okay. Break out. Yep. Let's go, Barzal! Man, I love Barzal's card. It's legit one of the best cards. His elite edges with, like, 90-plus agility is one of the biggest advantages in NHL 22. All right, Kucherov, big assist. Let's go. Back to our one-timer, too. Fowler, yeah, get in the zone. Fowler's sneaky quick. Spin back in front. Oh, let's go! Cam Fowler, 81 overall in a dream. Yes, sir, that guy got put in a blender. All right, we got the lead. Seven minutes left. Let's, let's end this. He's going to pass up the middle. Yep. I don't want to chase. He's going to rebound. Oh, let's go, Leonard. All right, needed that, dude. Okay. Um, He's going to force. Okay, I want to play that because I'm an idiot, but here we go. We have to do the stick lift here because we can't get tied up, and we win it. Okay, getting tied up in the offensive zone or defensive zone right now is basically an automatic goal if the player knows what they're doing. Okay, we're not going to get through there. Did he just stop? What was that? He wants to come back this way. What a move. Oh, what a block, though. Grizzly's got him tied up. Can we get this out? Yep. Oh, my God. Mantha didn't pick that up. Fowler, it's up to you, buddy. Oh, it took away the pass, man. Uh, we didn't get the puck pick up on that pinch down low, and uh, that's how she goes. Unreal. Okay. Oh my goodness, dude. We can't blow that game. It's a great move there. 
Need the puck back. Pass it. Couldn't get a shot off. Oh, my goodness. Just ran out of room. That's absolutely brutal. Well, we got to put that behind us. Oh, my goodness, man. That's tough. All right, let's get into the next one. Chamberlain. All right. We got a stream snipe for the video. Don't embarrass yourself, kiddo. We're going to tie up here. There it is. That's why you tie up. Kucherov absolutely nips one. Barzal's causing some havoc. Let's go. It timed that well. Bad breakout, though. I wanted that to go a little bit higher. Eh, it's right back in. All right, that's my fault. Needed that break. Needed that shot to go up the boards more. Kicked out. Bad kick out. Do something, please. It's your time. Oh, can get that through. I think I've got his face off like Cadence down. I need to pass that right away. Barzal was streaking. I need to select the last guy back, please. Let's go. What a move. Oh, Barzell. Fowler again. Two seconds. Okay. All right. Half decent. Half decent. Stamkos, I need something out of you or you're getting quick sold. I'm almost not kidding. Let's go. Okay. Able to pick that corner top shelf. Guy's playing the pass the whole time. Just let me walk right in there. I can. Let's go. Step up here. Go down behind the net. Stamkos. Find him. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. I missed the check on him. Unbelievable. Like, he's not even knocking people off the puck. Like, if he can't knock the brinket off the puck, I don't know what he's doing. Beat him. Let's go, Pasternak. What a goal. Okay, and Stamko's got the feed. All right, we're back, man. Let's put this kid away. Finally, Stamko's got a point. What a pizza. <laughs> okay, I tried to bait the goalie switch. He didn't do it. Fair enough. We'll take it. We'll take the 3-2 lead in the third period yet again. Let's try and finally win a game here. He's going to stick lift. I'm going to go back. Uh, okay, yeah. I was going to say, he hadn't gone forehand yet. Bad turnover. I'm going to send it down low. Perfect. Grizzly, go. Oh, I don't have a forward. It's Grizzly with me. Oh, dude, go for a skate? Tip that on? Oh. That's a really fast player. Bring Stamkos into pressure, and I can't bump him off the puck. Stamkos, for the love of God. I need you to do something. Although he did have a nice assist, so I guess he did do that. Get by him. That's an interference, maybe? No. Okay. How was that not picked off? Get going, Manta. Get going. Almost had it again. That was my only play there. He was taking away the pass in front. Okay. All right, 49 seconds. Come on. We're all over him. Let's go. He really wants to go down low. I don't think he has another goal. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do if he can't get behind the net. Here we go. Throw it towards the net, man. I just need a shot. Seven seconds. One more rush. He's going to fire it in front. Yep. Let's go. All right. Big win. There we go. All right. We're back in the win column. Let's go. We're almost in ultimate too. Two more wins and we might be in ultimate. Back up into high division three. All right. Not bad at all. That pass track was gross. Stamkos finally doing something. Kicks it to himself. We've got this one guy. He's cutting way too into the net. So I know Pasternak's going to have a, a way to it. And we just got to get the goalie moving. The goalie's already down. We got to get him moving one more time. Bang. There it is. Just a, All right. Nice goal. All right. Great. There we go. 17, 17, and 1. All right. We're still above 500. Let's go. Nice walk in. 
Not like that. Oh, what a save, dude. I can't believe he got that around that pad. That backdoor play, that's all he's trying for right now. Missed the pin. And he gets it. Oh, you. that's why you have to play just collapsing protect net, man. You just have to sit in the middle. People are just waiting for that. All right, things are going bad from worse. This guy's got a decent team, or at least someone at the team that's fast. Stam kills, please. Fowler, get there. I mean, dude, Stamkos, you got to hang on to that, man. That was right at you on the breakout. Big save. Big save. Big save. I'm too far off. He's just going to carry it in front. Dude, like, that's the thing I don't understand this year is that the, the like, he, he can skate through your stick. You see him saying there? Like, he literally just skating through my stick there. Let's go, McCann. Oh, my goodness. We had him completely faked out. Barzal's not hitting the net there. That's tough. Why am I not passing? Hello? Why is my pass button not working? I mean, okay. Survive that somehow. The, the input lag that people are receiving on PlayStation 5 is absolutely brutal. So I don't know if that's what just happened there. There's two instances where I hit pass and he just, it, like, my guy just wouldn't pass. Got to have that one with Pasternak. Nice. Great play. Running out of time, though. Oh, it's Stamkos. There's no way. Uh, what a weak shot. Stunning. All right. Much better period. And he missed it, thank God. Oh, my God. The input lag. Okay. What's my ping at? Wow, okay, it's steady. I can't switch my players at all, so this is pretty chalked. Nice goal. All right, sub game. Damn, goes. let's go. Let's go, Pasternak. All right, maybe it's not done yet. Maybe it's not done yet. Wow. That's unfortunate, bro. That guy just absolutely fell apart there. Gotta have that. That's a trip. All right, he draws a penalty. Stamkos draws a penalty. Let's go. That's actually nice. Come on. That was a bad shot. He was already leaning that way. Oh, Bedard. Great play there. That sucks. He just got that back. Hall. Wow, he just got blasted. A chance for one more rush, maybe? Oh, he almost got it. All right. Tough fell. All right, so a tough night. Still a little bit away from Stamco, so another one and we're good. All right, he's got an okay record. I'm still a couple games above 500, but the record is not. It's seen better days. All right, we're going to start with the overload here and see if he knows how to defend it. No one's in front. Hello? Okay, I need... I need... Okay, here we go. I need my guy to come over here. Try to pick that low blocker. Oh, aggressive with Kucherov. Okay. Oh, and I didn't want to go behind the net. Dang. Still have it. Turnover. Let's go. McCann strong on the puck. Great start. Let's go. What a good start there. Great cycle. I mean, lost it, but able to get it back with McCann. Let's see if Stamkos can do something. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay, sure. Get up, buddy. Kachur is fighting for it. Nice step up there by Mantha. But he still got it in the zone. That's a big deke, and he missed. Got that headman. That headman with stick him up is rough, because it's basically a loss of the puck. 
Let's go right to the net. Let's go! Bedard sneaks in from behind. Let's go. Future Shark, Connor Bedard. All right, good start of the period there. Six minutes to not even one. He's got one shot on goal. This is our game. This is our game. He's rushing with his center, so we can kind of just wait for a second, get around, and send it to ours. Nice cut. Far side. Ugh. I don't know why I'm taking a one-timer. For a rebound? Hmm. Oh, let's go! Okay, trying to pass that out in front. Went right to the goalie. And uh, he's going to want that one back. Let's go. And Stamkos is down. Absolutely demolished by Hedman. You know, it is just it has just been a, cuff, a, a tough stretch for my man Steven Stamkos. Is he actually out? I think he might be out for the game. Big save. Okay, like can, Stamkos might be done down and out, dude. Ooh, I wanted that. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna intercept it. All right, he's reading the cut in. I'm just gonna go straight next time we get on a rush. See, bang. Let's go. Far side shot. Ugh, oh, almost had it. For him to make a move, and he trips us up. Let's go. And he's diving all over the place. Let's go. All right, Jared McCann. Let's win the draw. Let's end it here. Big four four point night. Four goal night. Sorry. Dive there. Far side. Get across. Oh, man, McCann was there. Actually, oh, he's out of the box. Oh, what a move. And we tripped him up. Oh, that's a power play. That might, I thought that might have been a uh, penalty shot. We're good. Okay. And just like that, he's back in it. Okay, nice tic-tac-toe play from him. Can't be upset with that. That was nice. Okay, we got a two-goal lead going to the third. Rebound. I fired that too high. Oh, Barzal is just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with McDavid. Uh-oh. All right. That's why he's the GOAT. Point shot. Red that. Let's go! Yes, sir! Jared McCann with the Datsuk flip. And this kid is stunned. Okay. Oh, man. Bedard almost had that. Absolutely got munched there. Big save. And there it is. All right, we get back in the win calm. Let's go. Huge 4-1 win. The boys showed up. Let's go. And we should have enough now to get... Uh, and we're in ultimate. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. Or B, we'll play some more games tomorrow. Uh, to try and make sure we keep it. Ultimate is really big early on because you're going to get those rewards and you want to take untradeable so that you can, um, excuse me, so that you can get double the, double the rewards. So untradeable early on is definitely a play because in future events, you need currency and the currency is actually just gold players. So if you can pull some 83s, 84s, um, even, you might be able to use them on top of that, especially if you're free to play because there's more of a chance that you might actually pack something you'll use. Um, and because it's untradeable, right, you can throw into sets if you don't actually want it. So that's huge, uh, but we've got to do some... Uh, we got to take care of some business right now. Stamkos has been absolutely awful for us. That's been well documented, and he had one game there out of, the, out of the few that we played, but there is a huge jump in his skating, especially his speed, and he gets fly the zone when he gets that tier jump. So I'm hoping that that does the trick. Like, he jumps up considerably. So we are going to try and get that done. We have 38,000 coins. We're going to take a quick look in, on the auction house and see if there's any Steven Stamkoses up. To kind of save them what i'll do is going into next episode what i'll do is i will uh, go ahead and get stankos actually you know what i should bring this up there is a new single player challenge that was added to the game that the ea devs have started the daily challenges and it looks like they are going to be progressive so from october 17th to the 24th every single day there's going to be a new daily challenge and if you do it you're going to get more and more rewards so it's starting out with a thousand coins which is like kind of the minimum whatever it is but apparently every single day afterwards consecutive days you're going to get better rewards with it and you have to do the prior challenges to get it i don't think you have to do it within that day you could do them all on the 24th but i'm gonna go ahead and do this i'll finish this off off screen off video and uh and we'll work on that and then when we come back we'll get stamped all right guys so we now have forty thousand. um i guess i'm gonna i can save like an extra thousand essentially by buying him um i'm not gonna break down stamp coast 
if if you're not certain and to be honest i think a lot of you that are going to play the game year round stamkos is going to be replaced on your team like i think getting him to 85 is worth it now um because he's so, he, you know he's very good on the god squad and his stats are amazing like he's one of the better cards that for the cheap price that you can get him for um but he will be replaceable i think as the year goes along you might want to spend the coins uh, because what will happen is by the time in like january rolls around if you still have stamkos and you're kind of wanting to to move on from him if you if you break him down and you use your you use the card for him like the actual stamkos card you get the card back and it's probably going to be worth way less than forty thousand coins um, so keep that in mind. It's probably not advantageous. You probably just want to use the coins because you'll get 20,000 coins back. And Stamkos will drop in value, um, you know, month over month. So if you're going to play all year round and you've got Stamkos as X-Factor, I'd probably just do the coins. Um, but since I'm going to keep them for the uh, for the no money spent team, we're going to go ahead and use that. And now we finally got Stamkos. And now he's going to look a little bit better. And I believe, yeah, we've got Fly the Zone activated. And now we can actually get rid of Jamie Ben and put a centerman on there. Um, and maybe someone with Gladiator because we, we have Gladiator available. So maybe we'll see if real quick if there's a centerman that has Gladiator on the team. I don't know if there is. Um, it, oh, Nick Paul. Perfect. Okay. So Rivals Burst. If you guys are playing Rivals Burst and even the normal, like just 5v5 normal Rivals, uh, the fourth line rarely ever sees any time. So now we've got Fly the Zone, Gladiator, and Thief activated. And if we take a look at Barzell, because Barzell specifically has got both of them on there now activated. Or just Gladiator, sorry. He's got body checking up a little bit higher as wrist shot goes up as endurance. So um, that's a little bit better there. And uh, yeah, now the team's starting to come together, guys. I'm actually... I'm pretty hyped about the squad. I'm actually going to put Stamkos, this Stamkos, up on the first line because I think he's better than the the uh, the 85 McCann um, that we've had right now. I think McCann, once we upgrade him, he's going to be our first line center, and we can put Stamkos down the middle. But the free-to-play team, the no-money-spent squad is looking pretty good. I think the next focus is a left-handed winger to replace Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall's been great, and he's very, very good. But, um, you know, I would love someone a little bit more of a more impact player. I, I, all, I kind of want to take Goudreau as my free 88 card, but we just need defensemen. Like, there's no way around it. This is a hole now. Um, when building your team, what I would recommend is doing your first two lines of forward because they're the most important, and then doing your first pairing defense, and then finishing off your third pairing forward, and then doing your second pair defense, and then your third pair defense, and then your fourth line offense is the least, um, least important because it just doesn't see the ice at all. So... Um, I think we're going to leave Taylor Hall because he's definitely serviceable. And then, yeah, we definitely need to address defense on both sides. So it's either going to be Latang or Byram, but we're still a ways away from that. But things are looking good. We do have one more pack to open that we were able to complete. I did uh, one of those uh, gold, the 74 to 79 gold player items that can turn into an 80 plus one. So we are going to go ahead and rip the two gold premium pack. We still haven't pulled anything in these. We haven't re-rolled really anything, I don't think. So maybe something here. We got Samuel Hellenius and Brandon Santa. Man, that, God, that headshot is hilarious. So that's not going to play. We're not going to be able to use him. Um, so those are going to go right back into sets. And we'll probably just do, we'll probably throw them right into the uh, the re-rolls again anyways. But that is going to do it, guys, for this video. Uh, the next video, we will finish off squad battles. And we'll get a little bit of a team update before our first day of rewards, which will be Wednesday. It looks like right now we're in ultimate. The uh, it, the where you're at, sorry, is really like the point system. We're falling out of it right, right at the end. So tomorrow I'll be in ultimate. Uh, you'll get you can get an ultimate pack, a jumbo NHL players pack, which is huge, or you can get an untradeable version of those and get two of them. That's what I'm gonna take. Or eighty thousand coins, and <laughs> I'll be honest with you, eighty thousand coins is probably the smartest play. But uh, no one wants to just take coins. That's boring. So we're going to do the two ultimate packs, which are the best packs in the game, and then two jumbo NHL players packs. But that is until Wednesday. So we've got to wait for those rewards to come in. But that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.